YouTube, what's going on? Salutes for the Salutes for Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know what I'm dropping. Another one of these videos. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. This is an old video, you all. <laughs> Meaning, not an old video, but an old concept. And I had to do this. And first things first, shout out to my dude, P-Town. And um, y'all know I, I big him up all the time. Great dude, make sure you follow his channel. And uh, basically, you know, we were coming down the court and I was coming full speed. He realized he didn't have, you know, the, the lane he needed. So he said, hey, you know, gave me that chest pass and I, boom, alley oop to me. You already see it, Jordan one box. Got these a couple of weeks ago, courtesy of him. Because uh, if you follow my, my YouTube lives, I told you all what happened with this. My order was lost by Higgins. They did refund my money. You know, I canceled the order and all that stuff. I said, don't even worry about it. It's crazy. And I took that money and um, held on to it. P hit me up and said, hey, I got another pair if you want them. You know? And he ain't cracked me over the head. Retail plus shipping. You know, I'm gonna hold you down, man. I already took care of him, though. I did. He knows. I took care of him. But I can't say enough about him. You know, that's what the community is all about. Great guy, man. Hooking me up. And he's actually a size 10. If you look up here in my collection, I got a couple of 10s. Depending on the quality of the one, a uh, size 10 doesn't really bother me too much for some reason. This is a very odd shoe. Um, I, I love ones. Ones are my favorite silhouette. Obviously, because I came up with the shoe and everything, but I love purple and white. I missed out on the original uh, Court Purple release from 28, late 2018, but I was trying my best to get these. And, um, you know, my dude, P, he, he took care of me. So um, I can't stress that enough. Dope sneaker, man. Um, definitely in my top 10 cops of 2020 already just because of the colorway now people had you know you, you had people that make videos that are always going to be pessimistic and negative that, that's their whole brand is built upon negativity of the shoe and it's like so why'd you buy the shoe why are you dedicating time to them because they know negativity breeds views if you do anything negative on youtube people want in on it that's all it is uh if you're positive happy-go-lucky saying great things about stuff nobody wants to hear people love drama people love to see people fail and suffer they like to watch that stuff it's very sadist if you think about it but back to the shoe first things first dope colorway i always tell you all we're going to give it the after action review um you know these with the the pushbacks and the all that stuff with the you know, we had the stores closing, the bots were eating up things. It was a mess. This was a mess release. I don't know if the retail brands were paying attention to this or I, they don't care. A sale is a sale. I told you all. A regional manager for a very large chain said that to me. A sale is a sale. All right. As long as it's done legally, ethically, and morally. A sale is a sale. And I would like to say ethically and morally is murky too. If you know what I mean. But anyway, back to the shoe. Sustain one, crazy color blocking, can't go wrong with it. It makes you want the first pair, the 1.0s, the OG pair, the original pair. Because it's like, you know something? I want this black one, I want this flipped around. And that's how I feel now. I have to get a pair eventually, but if the price is too crazy, I'm not gonna bother with it. And the second thing too is um the, the quality. The quality is good, okay? Let's not talk about that shoe and compare it to it. It's not that. This is more of a, um, if you had the gym reds, yeah, here it is right here. It, this is more of the quality on a gym red. Let's, let's look at it. That right there is gym red toe box quality. It is not great, but it's good. Okay, it's good. It's, it's not gonna look horrible when it starts creasing you know how it is with ones we don't really care if we crease our ones it gives them character but not bad at all um otherwise they they, they didn't mess the shoe up you know retail for 170 it didn't hurt as much you know that ten dollars and all that stuff but a much much sought after sneaker this year uh resellers aren't doing extremely well with them now one thing that was peculiar they gave us these lavender laces 
which is odd. I, I don't quite understand. Or another, you know, matching court purple pair, but they gave us this lavender pair on some, you know, some uber styling type thing. I, I don't know, man. But um, these weren't bad. I mean, it, I guess you could try it out. I've seen people do it. I've seen people alternate them and stuff. It doesn't look bad, but I said I was going to do it. Then I, I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm straight. If anything, I'll put white laces in here to make it pop a little bit more. You know, or just leave them black. I think the black works great as well. But this is a very, very dope sneaker. Um, you know, if we, we're going to go into the improves, white laces. All right, add those to it as well. White laces. Quality. I'm not sure. We we've really we've had so many Jordan One releases in the last two and a half years. It's ridiculous. Um, you're gonna get a, a mismatch of quality on various shoes. Some sneakers that you wouldn't think were gonna have great quality on them. They have great quality leather. Uh, you know, every month we're getting one or two Jordan One releases. So if we could just slow this down a little bit, and people would cover it a little bit more. But then again you do want a lot of people to be able to get the shoe. I'm, I'm not of that limiting quality, like everybody don't have you saw one. I'm not of that, but uh, it's, it's a dope sneaker, man. It's a Jordan one and we know how it goes with that. So yeah, if you didn't get a pair, I think you probably were sleeping or snoozing or you didn't hit a raffle or something like this, but these were kind of limited, you know, per se. You had people say, no, they weren't. No, they weren't because they're trying to sell them. And I, I get it, I truly do. But dope sneaker. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tell me what you think about this sneaker. Did you cop these? Are you waiting for them? Or were these a pass because you had the first pair? Or you just like, nah, I don't care. Remember, it's not about how much you paid for the sneaker, but it's why you pay that much. And I'm out of here. Boom!